Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Poor Classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have needed is Project Cars 2, a game developed by Slightly Mad Studios and they are using their in-house engine called Madness, which is the same engine as Project Cars 1. So I decided to test this game now on the MX-130 because I noticed that I haven't done that. And I've noticed since Project Cars 3 have been announced to be released this summer, and watching the trailer, I wasn't really too much satisfied with what I did saw, since it looked to be a little bit more arcade-ish, while Project Cars 2, it is a full simulator game. So let's take a look on the settings. As you can see, post-processing, I left everything on default. And as for the settings of the game, I'm using 720p with low settings. Keep in mind that it is low settings, it is not minimum, because minimum you would be able to, you can, I mean, you can drop shadows, grass and particles and I actually haven't done that. All of these things are activated but on low, alright? So, looking to the requirements, you can see that these guys are a little bit crazy and that's possibly the reason they are called Slightly Mad Studios because these guys on the requirements said that you need a GTX 680 which is completely much more powerful than the MX-130. Uh, than the MX-130. So these requirements aren't real, alright, because at 720p with low settings I'm able to get an average of 60 frames per second with a 1% low of 49. So what you can expect, it is an experience above 50 frames per second with an average of 60, although these results were gathered in, uh, first of all, in a very very demanding track an other track which was Nürburgring, all right? But uh, to realize what is uh, the performance that you are going to get, as you can see in here, what I'm testing in here, it is a road race that you have available, all right, on the game, which is very demanding. And not only that, I decided to add rain to the track and decided to set the maximum number of opponents that you can get and place you in the last place so that the game could be this most, as most demanding as possible and this is the worst case scenario that you are going to get in the game because as soon as you are going to play a career race, a regular race that you can expect from the entire career race I mean a track like Oldman or Nubrigan or Donington, or Cadwell Park, uh, even Algarve, right? if you're going to play any of those tracks in the career mode, the number of opponents usually are, in, are 16 or 24 cars. It is not as much cars as you are seeing in here, as well as the tracks are much less demanding, and usually the time it is rain, I mean it is summer, or just foggy, so the performance it is much much better than you see in here. Alright, so in this worst case scenario, the experience that you are getting in here, it is between 50 to 60 frames per second. While for example, if you are going to play on Oldman Park or Norbergen, you can expect an experience above 60 frames per second most of the time, if not all the time. Alright, so yeah, for the most part, you can play Project Cars 2 above 60 frames per second with 720p low settings, although if you get into a race that is raining where you have a bunch of cars in front of you well in that case your game will perform above 50 frames per second All right, this is a simulation game so all the frame rate matters and my target for this benchmark it was 60 frames per second and that's the reason why I, I didn't test median settings because uh, for me the game it is already struggling in some sequences to reach those 60 frames per second and so for me, I do think that the low settings, it is completely the way to go. With this graphic card, of course. Alright, so guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Project Cars 2. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video. Uh, I will be playing also a little bit of Norbigon, just one lap for you to see, if you wait long enough. And that's it. So guys, thank you a lot for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.